Hi guys, welcome back to Rav's Retreat. We're in the shack again today and uh, on this and the following video we're going to be talking about a subject which is close to my heart. In fact, some people might even say I've got a bit of a fetish for. Uh, and that subject is life centres. I can't get enough of them. I, I don't know what it is about them. I just seem to keep buying them. I mean, I, I've got life centres now that I'm, I'm perfectly happy with. But I just keep buying more. I don't know why. Um, maybe I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a bearing connoisseur. I like to feel smooth bearings. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Anyway, let's get on. The first one we're going to look at is this one here that's in the lathe at the moment. Get it out for you. And this is the Axminster Power Tools uh, Life Centre. It's quite an expensive life centre. Runs at about 60 UK pounds. So that's going to be up close to about $90, I would imagine. But it is supremely adaptable. Uh, and that re the reason for that is that these nose cones, or whatever you call them, come out. Okay? They actually supply you with uh, two Tommy bars, which fit into these holes here, which then turn this ring and this ring then extracts the uh, the uh, nose thingamajigs for you so that's quite easy the one that I tend to use most in it is this one it's a large cone and uh, I use this it's quite it's a, with it being a good size it fits in like vase, you know, necks and stuff like that. It's very adaptable with it being a, a nice large cone. Okay, this is the standard cone, the 60 degree cone that comes with it. By the way, you can also, you can buy the, the life centre with just this. 60 degree center if you want and buy the other one separate or not okay or they'll sell you a pack that includes them all i bought the pack that includes them all uh and as i say it was around about 60 or 70 pound but uh it's very adaptable so anyway that's that's the 60 degree center then we've got a little mini 60 degree center for doing miniature work or whatever then we've got a little cup center this gets a fair bit of use as well I like uh, cup centers slash ring centers you know you can uh, hold that work nice and steady without splitting it that's probably the second most used center then we've got a little cone centre, that could be handy if you're doing miniature spindle work, handy. And then the last thing is this thing, which is a little face plate. It's got three screw holes at the back, which are uh, what they call it, yeah. Go on, you tell me and I'll tell you. Recessed. You can, you know, you could, you've got a little face plate then on a life centre. Or, it comes with a screw, you put that through the back of it, and look, suddenly you've got a miniature screw chuck that fits on a life centre like so think of the possibilities it's a very adaptable very usable life center but there is a thing wrong with it 
that I found and that is that I've only had it about 14 months and already there's plain the bearings okay now when I say plain the bearings I don't mean massive amount of slop I mean a small amount of plain the bearings now bearings have got to have a certain amount of playing them otherwise they'd just be locked up solid but this has got more play than it should have in fact you may be able to listen to it hang on see if you can hear it hear it now that was an expensive live center and it shouldn't be doing that after 14 months so I'm not happy Mr. Axminster okay but it's super, it is very adaptable with all the different fittings that come with it or that you can get for it right so we'll move on shall we the next one I wanted to show you was this now for all you guys that are maybe thinking about ordering a Powermatic 3520B or, in, or indeed a Jet 3520B uh, they're both the same thing by the way all Powermatic 3520Bs are actually made by Jet uh, I hope that hasn't burst your bubble but it's true all Powermatic 3520B lathes are made by Jet and then exported to America um, in fact when I was installing this lathe I accidentally scratched it and underneath the white paint was the Powermatic gold slash mustard paint so there you go I mean it doesn't make a difference anyway who makes them they're an excellent lathe and they're an excellent price for what you're getting so it doesn't really matter whether it's Powermatic or Jet that makes them you know they're a brilliant lathe for the amount of money that they cost but anyway if you're thinking about getting one I just want to show you this this is the life center that comes with it look at this baby it's an absolute corker of the life center um, now sometimes well unless you're paying an absolute fortune for a lathe they usually come with a, a fairly crap life center uh, by crap I mean rubbish a duff life center um, in fact I, I bought a uh, a record power CL5 and that actually still came with a dead center believe it or not I was not impressed um, but when I saw when I unwrapped this and saw it it's basically it's a copy of the uh, the one-way life center if you uh, you put a little rod through that hole there which locks up the bearings you can then screw this nose cone off and uh, underneath it is the uh, the cup center like what's on the one way with the threads on the outside the little I think it's 10 TPI threads isn't it but it's a copy of the one way might be made by one way I highly doubt it because the one way is like about 100 pound so I I can't really see it but basically it's a very good copy of the one way so if you're thinking about getting a 3520B it's a very you know when you get it you'll also get a very nice live center with it of all the lathes I've bought over the years this is by far by far the best live center that the that's ever come with one by far it's a cracking life center I mean the thing weighs about going on for two pound it's brilliant I don't use it because I've got other life centers that are more adaptable I'm not saying you know the one way life centers not adaptable because it is it is it's a brilliant life center and I'm thinking about getting one myself told you I've got a fetish for them um, but you know to say it comes free with the lathe 
this is a cracking piece of kit if you're thinking about getting a 3520 you're also going to get a cracking life center with it okay right guys i'm going to end this video here uh and the following video will also be about life centers but they're my two favorite ones so i might go into a bit of detail with those so i shall bid you a fond farewell from this video and i hope you'll watch the next one catch you later guys take care now bye bye